Alright, everything's all sanded up. Just for now, rough sand. Little baby mirror on the corner. See what's going on with the gun. Actually, you're making a big picture frame. Essentially. Left a little bit. Put it in blue on this one. Put it in blue on this one. Right there. Do we want to get one out of that? We're going to have to find another one. Sure. I'm in your way. You know. So you guys can see the old nail holes right there. There's no old nail holes on this side. So that's where we're going to nail it.
We are a, um, we are a, one, two, three, three of them. Then you'll have a total of four with the bottom. We already cut the grooves and uh, sanded that one up. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, there you go. Hmm. That one just didn't go ahead. I don't think I'm going to hit that. Because the wood's twisted. That'll work. Sink them nails. Um, make sure we're still square. That poops out square. Doesn't make much sense, does it? We're in square. Now we need to measure to see how long the piece will be. Twenty-eight and three quarter. Attention. There's our mark. Yeah, a knot there. We don't want to cut by that. So, what we shall do 
measure from the other side. get the gist of what's going on we'll put three more um, four inches apart and give you plenty of room to get in there and move them around we said do one there one there just alternate them and give it a little different look so they're not all lined up in one straight row Excuse me. Um, the wood's not straight. Can't do much about that. It's repurposing wood. So we'll put some wood fill in where we need to and sand down what we need to and stain it and all that stuff. But I gotta find some more salvageable one buys so I can uh, make three more. And uh, I think there's some up in the rafter, so I shouldn't have to make them out of two by fours. But that's what we're doing. We'll show you what it looks like when it's all together. Then once we get it stained and finished and poker chips on it, we'll throw a picture up for you guys. That's finished but unfinished. We still gotta do some sanding and fill in some holes here and there. But by my calculations, I'll try to zoom in or something, but they're staggered like that. By my calculations, if you stagger them or if you just put them in line them up like that right there you can get almost 150 real close to 150 um you could get more if you did top shelf by putting sides on so i may play with it and uh do some more stuff or make a couple more i don't know but if you fill both rows the ideal thing to do would be if you had a place where you could display it, like cut a hole in a wall and display it that way so you could see on both sides. Then you could get like 300 chips in there. So that's it. Pretty simple deal there. Um, I'll put a picture of the finished product with all my poker chips on it. And the lights, I don't know if we got enough to fill it or not, but I'll put a picture up here of it all stained up and everything. And uh, that's that. So, I don't know. I may, uh, I may get fancy. This is just the prototype. So, uh, we'll see what we come up with. But, just have time wrapped up in it. I mean, I had the wood, it, it's, I didn't have to buy the wood, just repurposing some of the stuff that we've taken off the house here from redoing rooms and stuff, some stuff that we've changed up, so, I know the distance isn't the same on all the shelves when you get to the top one, it's not the same, we're four inch space. This one's only about a three inch space because I, I didn't plan ahead. I just looked at the material that I had and said, well, I can make these this long. I can make these that long. And, well, that's what we come up with. 
So there you have it. Hope you guys like it. Um, leave a comment, comment section. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment. We'll see you all in the next one.